Welcome to Yogaya grounding routine. Root and anchor. Start standing with your hands into Shiva Shakti Mudra, your thumbs and index fingers interlocking into the loop of infinity, the fingertips pointing down into the earth. Place the mudra at the center of the solar plexus. Open your feet shoulder width apart and close your eyes. Take a moment to reconnect to your center by beginning to circle from the base, moving through the four corners of the feet, tuning to the earthly vortex, allowing the energy to spiral from the base to the crown. Reverse the flow. Keep the focus into your solar plexus where the loop of infinity interlocks. Gently feel the vibrations of the earth moving through you, allowing you to yield and ground. Inhale, swim your arms forward. Exhale, bend your knees and flex your hands up. Inhale, one more dive. Exhale, bend the knees, look up. Inhale, deepen the breath. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, opening through the shoulder girdle, exhale. Lower your arms down. Inhale, circle the arms up and around into upward worship position. Draw your shoulders up to your ears and drop them down. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, down. Inhale, elongate through the sides of the waist and begin a cycle of dynamic fire breath, lifting the shoulders and dropping them naturally down. Grounding even more with each breath. Inhale, twist to the right, bend your knees, circle your arms, shake your shoulders, release all tension. Inhale, circle the arms, interlace the fingers, twist to the left. Exhale, circle the arms, Shake the shoulders. Inhale, begin to do ribcage isolation circles with your torso from left to right, isolating the pelvis. Inhaling as you move forward and exhale as you go back. Reverse the flow. Inhale forward and exhale as you go back. Finding your center tuning to the earth's axis. Inhale, bend your knees again, reach up. Exhale, fold over, forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest, flatten your spine. Exhale, release down, bend your knees, round up. Take the circle the other way, holding your hip bones Reversing the flow, noticing the range of motion in your hips. Inhale, circle the arms. Exhale, lower down. Plant your hands, walk your right foot and your left, downward facing dog. Pedaling the feet into the floor as you alternate legs. Bending the left and the right. And again, left and right. Lengthen through the sides of the waist. Plant your hands and your feet. Lift your right leg up. Open your right hip. And as you exhale, move into plank and move your right knee into the left shoulder. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, moving the knee into the right shoulder. Inhale, one more time. Keep on breathing. Exhale, knee forward into the navel. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Gaze over your right shoulder and left. Try not to sickle the feet as you lower down and walk your hands into sphinx pose. Lengthen your right arm, lift your left leg. Reach up and down. Inhale, crossing the meridian here. Exhale, down. Inhale, 
warming up the whole spine. Exhale down. Feel the earthness. And inhale up and release down. Interlace your fingers in the small of the back. Lift your legs, head, neck, and chest into flying locust and release. Upward facing dog, round down into child's pose. Release through the third eye. Plant your hands in front of you. Feel the length through your spine, the grounding, the rootedness through your shins and feet. And walk your hands to the right, lengthening through the sides of the waist, working on the transverse abdominals here. And walk the hands back to the center and over to the other side. Pull your hips down into your heels. Lengthen your spine. Press the hands forward. Transfer your weight forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, ripple forward. Open your heart. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, ripple forward. Lower down, bend your elbows. Cup the floor with your hands, keeping the elbows bent. Lift your belly and begin to circle the torso. Lifting up and then circling the other way. Expanding the mobility through the mid-back. Lower down. Plant your hands. Inhale, round up. Come onto all fours. As you look up, arch your spine. As you gaze down, scoop the belly in. Inhale, gaze up, arch. Exhale, cave your spine. Inhale, open up. Exhale, move down, circling the head and the tailbone now. Opening through the mid-back, expanding through the sides of the waist. And then reverse the circle. The energy runs unimpededly from the base of the spine to the crown of your head as you continue to feel the earthly vortex moving through you and anchoring you. Lift your right arm and your left leg. Round your spine, elbow and knee meet. Inhale. Flex your back foot. Exhale, elbow and knee together. One more time. Inhale. Reach out and cave in. Reach for the foot with your hand. Bind here. Lower your right shoulder down. And then reground your right hand. Point your feet to the back wall and open into a supported bridge as you bend the knees, contract, as you straighten from the pelvis, expand and arch. As you bend the knees, contract, inhale, open, arch. Exhale, release your pelvis down, inhale, Open deeper. Walk the feet back into downward facing dog. Keep the flow. Alternating legs. Bicycling the legs. And moving back. Lift your left leg up. As you bend the knee, bring it to the right elbow. Inhale. Opening through the hip. Lifting up. Exhale. Knee to the left elbow, inhale all the way up. Keep the flow, keep on breathing. Exhale, knee into the navel. Inhale, lift up, bend your elbows, glide forward, upward facing dog. Gaze over your left shoulder and your right. Exhale, release down. Walk your hands and forearms into sphinx and then reach your left arm and your right leg up and down. Inhale, ignite your core. Exhale, release down. Inhale, reach and exhale, release. One more time. Exhale, release down. Release all the way down. On the exhale, open your feet wider than mat distance and release your arms down. Then take a twist in starfish as you curl your big toes under and open through both sides. Inhale, reach, exhale, twist. Inhale, reach, exhale, twist. 
Slide your knees into your navel, come into worm, planting your hands into the floor and then regrouping them in front of you as you roll up into camel. Interlace your fingers, lift your fingers over the head. Initiate a circle with the torso as you bend the pelvis and stretch through the sides of the waist. Going clockwise first, feel the full range of motion, starting from the pelvis, moving through the intercostals all the way to your trapezius. Release the shoulders down and then reverse the circle. Exhale down, inhale, open and expand. Exhale with each circle. Feel the earthly spiral moving you from the core of the earth to the center of your being. Reach the right arm forward, elbow into knee. Inhale, expand, exhale, contract. Right arm, left leg, expanding and shrinking, take a bind. Crossing the meridian here, dropping the right shoulder down. Replant your right hand and expand through the left side. Exhale down, inhale, feel the pulsation of the body. Inhale, expand, exhale, ground. Inhale, open, exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, hop your feet to your hands, lower your head down and shake your shoulders as you bend the knees round up. Step your right leg back and come into warrior two. Coming back into Shiva Shakti Mudra, the thumb and index finger interpenetrating in an infinity loop, your fingers pointing down as you bend your knees, twist forward. Send energy into the outside edge of the back foot. Twist back. As you bend your knees, twist forward. As you exhale, twist back. Come to the center. Swim your arms forward and exhale, flatten the hands. Keep the knee bent. Inhale, swim. Feel the centeredness through the torso. Exhale, release. Inhale, swim and exhale, circle your left arm over the head into crescent or peaceful warrior. Straighten the knee, and as you hinge at the hip crease, move into triangle pose. Feel the line between the shoulders, and then replant your hands into the floor and twist into right angle pose, engaging through the back leg Replant your left hand, flex your front foot, square your hips, and then ripple back into the lunge. Exhale, flex your front foot. Inhale, ripple forward. Exhale, flex back. Inhale, one more lunge, lower your right knee down. Plant your hands into your thigh bone and open your chest. Inhale the life force, the prana. Exhale, replant your hands, curl your back foot under and walk your front foot to meet the left. Walk the feet slightly back and then round up. Bring your hands into prayer at the center of your heart. Close your eyes, feel the groundedness moving from the center of the earth, sending spirals of inflow and outflow through your body and connecting you to the sky. Inhale, bend your knees, reach your arms up, and exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, bend the knees, round up. Step your left back and open. Bring your hands into Shiva Shakti Mudra again. Rebend the right knee and come to the side. Exhale, twist. Inhale forward. Exhale, twist. And inhale, keep the flow. 
Exhale, twist. Keep the pace as you swim your hands forward and keep your right knee bend, flexing the palms, diving in and out, feeling the centeredness. Circle your right arm up and around and come into a brief crescent. Recenter, hinge at the hips. Open into triangle pose. Lengthening from the tail to the crown, hinging deeper at your hip crease. Plant your left hand and reach your right arm into twisted right angle. Breathe deeply. Release your right hand down. Keep the flow. Square the hips as much as possible and inhale. Shift forward. Exhale, flex. Inhale forward, lunge. Exhale, flex the front foot. Inhale forward, lunge. Lower the left knee down. Press your hands into your right thigh and open your heart. Open the mid-back. Exhale, replant your hands into the floor. Curl the back foot under and step your left foot to meet your right. Lower down. Bend your knees and round up. Lift your shoulders gently and soften them in. Wrap your left leg around your right into eagle. Wrapping the elbows, the forearms, and the wrists. Then step the front foot and take dancer's pose with your back leg. Open through the hips. Replant your right foot. Change legs and bring your left foot into the right groin. Enter a variation of tree pose as you reach your left hand up into the sky and you feel the oppositional pull. Reach with your left hand for your right elbow and gently twist here in this modified tree pose. As you bend your right knee and bring your hands to the floor, spin your foot sideways, ground through the left arm and reach the right. Replant your right hand, pivot your foot into parallel and shoot your left leg up. Bring your feet together, bend your knees and round up through a ripple. Wrap your right leg around the left, come into eagle on the other side, sitting as low as you can, bringing the elbows into the thigh bone. Step forward taking dancer's pose on your left, reaching an opening through the hip. Step the foot back, bring your right foot up into the left groin and reach your right arm into the sky as you ground and feel the inner spiral moving out, the outer spiral moving in. Reach for your elbow from behind and take a twist. Ground through your standing leg. Feel the support of the earth as you bring your hands to the floor and you spin your left foot out. Plant the right hand and reach the left arm up. Breathe here. Replant your hands, pivot your left foot into parallel and reach your right leg up. Plant your feet together. Walk your hands forward and your legs wider than mat distance apart into fan pose. Release the forehead down. Press the hands into the floor. Lengthen through your spine. Reach your arms forward, interlacing the fingers, and stretch here, earthing down. Walk your hands into the navel and open to the right, planting your left hand down, twisting here in fan pose, and then switching the arms. 
keeping your hips as straight as possible and allowing for the twist to happen in your mid-back. Release down. Heel toe your feet into Malasana. Deep squat. Press your hands into the heart, your elbows into your knees, and close your eyes, allowing the tailbone to move down through a cord of red light into the center of the earth, feeling the connectedness, the awakening of your blood memory, the feeling of stability and ease. Replant your hands into the mat. Transfer your weight forward, hiking your knees into your upper arms and bending your elbows so you come into crow pose. Lengthen your spine. Feeling the stability here, root your feet back into the floor. Walk your feet slightly forward so you can contract your spine and roll down one vertebra at a time. Slide into the center of the mat. Walk your heels as close to your sit bones as possible. And as you plant your hands into the earth, lift your pelvis. And then roll down one vertebra at a time. One more time from the root. Moving through the ripple of the spine, exhale all the way down from the cervical spine into the coccyx. And staying here, breathing one more time, lifting the pelvis. Slide your shoulders closer to the heels, support your lower back, and then shoot your legs up into modified shoulder stand. Draw your elbows in. Breathe here as you slowly lower your legs down into plow. Press your hands and your fingers further up your spine and take a circle with your torso, massaging the cervical spine clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Breathe deeply. Leave space between your chin and your chest. Lower down one vertebra at a time and bend your knees. Hug your knees into the chest, interlacing opposite elbows. Lengthen your tailbone down. Lengthen through the neck and drop your knees to the right. Grounding through the left shoulder. Breathe deeply here. The gaze moves opposite to your knees. Recenter your knees back into the chest. Circle your pelvis and your knees the other way, accessing the root of your body and expanding through the core. Lengthen your neck. Draw the legs in and then drop them over to the left as you ground through the right shoulder. Gaze over your right shoulder. Allow this twist to release toxins from your lower abdomen, purifying and cleansing the whole body. Yogic toe lock the big toes with the pointer and the middle fingers. Bend your knees. Gently begin to rock right and left and to lengthen the spine from the lower back, holding the outside edges of the feet as you bring the soles together. Then release into relaxation pose. Shavasana, close your eyes, melt your weight into the floor and allow your core to melt into the center of the earth, surrendering to the earthly vibrations and allowing 
the earthly vortex to move through your spine from the base to the crown. As you root and anchor, feel the expansion through your solar plexus. Gently bend your knees, come into a fetal position and press off the floor to come into a comfortable cross-legged seat, keeping your spine long and bringing the hands into the heart as you give reverence to the earth and open into fullness. <laughs> 